What is soft life? That's what I want to know. I'm assuming that soft life is just the opposite of a hard life. And if that's the case, then soft life all 2020, baby. Hey guys, it's Ifeo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from today's title, I'm filming a chit chat, get ready with me. If you wanna see how I got this look, then you are in for a treat. I've been getting so many requests about how I do my makeup recently, which is just, beyond because I don't consider myself to be particularly talented in this area, but I have switched out everything since the last time I filmed a chit chat, get ready with me. I have new techniques, I have new products. So I'm happy that you guys have noticed the effort that I've put into my makeup routine recently. So before I jump into all that, I should introduce myself. My name is Ifeo and I'm a Nigerian content creator living in London. I make videos all about home, life, and style. If you like the vibe over here, I would love it if you consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's good to see you. I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna ramble too much. Let's just jump straight into the video. So since this is going to be my first chit chat, get ready with me of 2022, I thought that it would be cool to kind of catch up with you guys on some trending topics that have happened this year and give you guys my take while I'm doing my makeup. So I'm gonna move my mirror closer to me. Hopefully that doesn't bother anyone too much. So the first thing I'm going to do is prep my skin and I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I had heard so much great things about it that I just wanted to try it out. You guys will know if you've been watching me for a while. I made a decision, I think a couple years ago, to transition to clean makeup brands and it was really a struggle. As a woman of color, I feel like the clean beauty space, there's just not enough options. There are not enough shade ranges. There are not enough products that work for my skin tone. And I was able to find a foundation that I liked, but after a while, it was just, I, want, I just wanted to do something different. And then I couldn't find any other foundation in my shade from another brand that actually ships to the UK. It was just a whole thing. So I decided that I was just going to go back to the Old Faithfuls. I went back to NARS and that kind of just started the whole spiral of completely transitioning back to non-clean beauty brands. And you know what? I don't feel any way about it. I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorials. Actually, I watched one makeup tutorial from Dodos. I am Dodos. She's another Nigerian YouTuber and she's you probably already know her, her content is flawless. She's a professional makeup artist. She put up her 2022, I think, makeup tutorial. And I watched that and just went out and like bought everything. <laughs> and that's basically completely changed how I do my makeup. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is in the shade Amand Medium Dark 3. This is the closest shade to my actual skin tone that NARS does. So what I like to do with this is just cover up any discoloration that I have on my skin. So if I have a lot of redness peeking through, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. Um, so I just go over all of that with this concealer. I guess this is kind of like a color correction step. I've just blended out that concealer. And as you can see, like on days where I don't really want to do too much, like this offers a really good coverage for me. And the brush that I was using to blend that in is from Yanga Beauty, and this is their foundation brush. I'm using the Sheer Glow Foundation by NARS, and this is in the color Macau, and this is slightly more yellow toned, so I think it kind of balances out a little bit. Anyway, let's get on to some trending topics. The first topic I have to talk about is the Will Smith versus Chris Rock situation. Are you guys tired of this yet? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. I'm just taking a little bit of foundation and my same foundation brush and I'm just going to dab all over my face and then blend it in. I woke up like most people the morning after the Oscars. At least it was the morning for us here in the UK. And I was honestly shocked. And the crazy thing about it is I've my last chit chat get ready with me or one of my last ones actually spoke about Jada being the goat. And that was after the whole August Alsina situation. And my whole like opinion in that video was mainly like if Jada Pinkett Smith can get Will Smith to come on camera and basically condone her having an affair with their son's friend, I want to have that kind of influence and power. <laughs> like she's the go, like this is my opinion. It's just not that serious. It was never that serious. 
it's something that I've always believed was an overreaction. And I was surprised that so many people defended his behavior. Will Smith, to me, has always been someone that I've massively admired. But in that moment, I lost so much respect for him. And more than anything, as an outsider looking in with very little information I'm aware, I just don't think he's in a healthy relationship. This is my highlighting concealer. It's by NARS as well. And this is in caramel. This is what I've done with my brightening concealer. So I literally look like something out of The Lion King right now. <laughs> I have this little brush, which honestly is not the best brush. I got this brush set from TJ Maxx and it was like $12.99 for 10 brushes. So what do you expect? But this is a little stippling brush and it kind of gives me enough control to blend out my makeup properly. So I guess the one thing I've done differently that I didn't used to do before is I'm just a lot more patient with my blending. I used to use a beauty blender before to blend out everything and I don't do that anymore. I use a brush. So one good thing about using brushes, I think you get a much more flawless finish with a brush. And I also think that it just makes you a lot more patient with your blending. So I've put a bit too much on my chin. I don't need my chin to be that light. So I'm just gonna go over it with my foundation brush. My makeup comes out a lot better with brushes. Everyone going on social media and just saying, yeah, Will Smith was just defending his wife. I think that's a really unhealthy take as women. Like this is not really about being protected at this point. For me, I feel like if the reverse is not applicable, then the current situation is not true. If the reverse situation happened where let's say Jada had put her own career in jeopardy because she was, I don't know, defending Will Smith at some point, and Will Smith was cheating on Jada, the entire female community would literally be like, Will Smith is so toxic, he's a horrible human being, how dare he like let Jada Pinkett ruin her life like this, why are you standing beside your man while he's cheating on you? But for whatever reason, when it's the other way around, it's like, you know, Will Smith is a great husband, he's just doing what needs to be done, like protect black women at all costs, and yeah, I just think that we can be a bit biased at times, and this is coming from someone who literally called Jada the goat. Like, yeah. So now I'm gonna do my contour, and to contour, I am using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. Probably better if I take it off so you can see. You would have noticed that I don't blend out my nose highlight. I do that at the end. So now I'm just gonna go in with my contour, and to contour, I basically just draw. With this, I find it so easy, so I just go like this. This just gives my nose a bit more like dimension. So speaking of YouTubers, one thing that's been going around a lot is that YouTube is dead. I'm just going to use this foundation brush to blend my contour. This might not be the right brush, but I just like it because I can control the line and I just try to blend upwards like that. There's this whole movement towards short form video content like Reels and TikTok, like TikTok is been blowing up. I would much rather consume content in long form where you're not like rushing to get through the information because yeah, it's nice to see like snippets of things, but then you're not able to really relay that information in a way that's helpful to me. And the kinds of stuff that does well on TikTok to me, it's just really cheesy. Like I don't gravitate towards that kind of content and I'm not really the type to do like funny voiceovers and all that kind of stuff and like dances and like the snap transformations. <laughs> like I don't think that YouTube is dead because I think that there must be people like me out there who still have an appreciation for long form content. And I have noticed that people's vlogs are getting longer now, story time videos are getting longer now. So obviously there is a market for that on here. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. This packaging was actually for their, I think it was Chinese New Year. So that's why it has all the, the red tiger print on it. So this powder is meant to be the goat setting powder. I got this in shade three tan and I'm just using this powder brush by Yanga Beauty. Okay, let's get on to another trending topic. Let me check my list. So I have a list of things to talk about. I'm gonna talk about Kanye West. Oh my God. Kanye West, I feel like was trending for like a whole month. 
I just think that it must be really difficult to be in a relationship with Kanye West or someone like Kanye West. I feel like what we were witnessing was the spiral of somebody in real life and it was just becoming like memes. It was really weird. This is the Glossier Boy Brow and this is the clear and I just use this to like keep my brows in place. So I brush upwards and then I'll just go on the top, brush everything in one direction. If that makes sense like that. I need to get my eyebrows better. I need to get my nails done. But I'm holding off because I'm leaving for my holiday soon and I want to get both done as close to when I'm leaving as possible. I'm just really happy that Kanye seems to be settling now. I mean, I know he has a new girlfriend and I know they've been traveling all over the world. So maybe she's brought him some stability. And more than anything, I just think the most important thing for Kim and Kanye to focus on as their children. But anyway, while my eyebrows are setting, cause it kind of needs a while, cause right now they're a bit, a bit wet, I'm going to do my cheeks. So for my cheeks, I've been loving the Glossier Cloud Paint and Dawn is like a corally orange color. It's really bright. And so this is my little contour brush from Real Techniques. It's like a mini one that I got in a travel kit. And I just like to swirl out the cloud paint on the back of my hand like that. And then it's like stipple it into the apples of my cheeks. Drag it up like that. And then I'll even take a little bit and just take it up onto the top of my head. And I know it looks a bit bright, but it'll settle. I'm doing my eyeshadow now, and I'm using the Soft Glam Eyeshadow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going in with this burnt orange color and orange soda. I'm gonna mix the two. This I'm just going to put all over my lids. And for that, <clears throat> I'm using, I think this is an eyeshadow brush. I don't even really know. You can see what it looks like. Kevin Samuel's story, to me, has actually been really, um, Interesting. The more I learned about him, the more intrigued I was about him. So this is someone who started YouTube, I think, like ages ago. And he started off like making fragrance reviews. Those didn't really pop. Started off making these videos where he was basically talking to men about relationships. That didn't really pop. And then he realized that making videos where he was speaking to women about relationships like that was where he hit the gold mine. That was where he saw growth. That was where his videos started to pick up traction. You know, he went viral off of that average at best video where he was basically berating this woman for thinking that she was, I think she said she was an eight and he was like, you're like a five at best. He went viral for that. Notoriety and becoming popular and becoming, you know, well known, especially on social media. A lot of the things that will take you to the top quickest are usually things that are not the best, right? If I were to start making videos where I was like acting a fool or like trolling, that would probably get me thousands and thousands of views, but at what price am I selling myself for? And I know that Kevin Samuels like claims that his content was to help people, but the truth is he hurt a lot of people. He put a lot of people down. And as someone who actually watched his content before he passed away, I did think that there was a lot of nuggets of like positive information, right? So hear me out, <laughs> hear me out. I have an economics background. Like I actually studied economics at university. And from that perspective, I really did value a lot of what he had to say as far as supply and demand goes. So like women, we need to realize that there's not an, an infinite supply of men that look like Idris Elba who are millionaires who are just sitting around waiting to stumble across us. In terms of supply and demand, there's competition. And wherever there is competition, there's an allocation of resources. And wherever there's an allocation of resources, it usually goes to whoever can afford to pay the most for that, right? And that was where he would talk about your attractive level. He would talk about whether you have children or not. He would talk about your education or whatever it was that his metrics were. And I just think that there's so many women that are dating with unrealistic expectations of what is available, number one, and also what is important, you know? 
I'm not gonna lie, like sometimes I would watch his videos and it would have me like question myself. What do I deem to be important in a way that a house is run and where have I gotten those notions from? I'm mixing sienna and rustic now, which are these two colors. And what I'm trying to do is just create some sort of angle at the edge. And I'm, I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm just going to do a little V. So what I do is I like draw up like that. And then I draw in like that. And then I just go over it a couple times until it's as dark as I like it. Now I'm going in with this brush. I think this is a MAC brush. It's very old. I don't remember, but for some reason I'm thinking it's 317 and it's just a clean brush. And with the clean brush, I like to blend. So what I do is I blend in from the darker corners into the lighter corner. And I just go like that until it looks blended to me. That's, this is literally how I do my eyeshadow. So it's probably not the best way, but it works for me. So I just blend out any harsh lines. Basically what I'm saying in terms of Kevin Samuels is be careful the method be careful what you become known for because it might come to bite you in the butt. Like, I think it's really ironic the way he passed away considering what he preached. Um, the world is just weird in that way. It was important for me to like actually watch his content for myself and try to understand where he was making sense and where he wasn't for me. And for me, I felt that a lot of what he was trying to do was based in logic, but the way that he went about delivering that message was just really toxic and unhealthy. I felt that the way he spoke to women in particular was really wrong, it was a derogatory, it was abusive, and it wasn't necessary. And I think that was the aspect that he did purely for entertainment, purely because he saw that was what got him views. And I think that's unfortunate. I think he could have delivered his same message with more compassion, and he would have been able to still get his message across, but been able to help more people because the message would have been delivered better. I disagreed with a lot of what he said. He adopted this one size fits rule mentality as far as attraction goes, but we're not all attracted to the same thing. We're not all looking for the same thing. I don't believe that if you're not like a size four, size six, we're women that you're not attractive. Like, I don't believe in any of that. And those were the standards of beauty that he pushed onto every single woman that called. And it's just ironic that the woman that he was with when he passed away was not a size four, size six woman, at least not from what I have seen. And I think that it's important to just be authentic. Like don't just talk about things just because you want to trend. Don't sell your soul for popularity. One thing that I pride about myself, like anything that I come onto my channel to say, I mean it. Anything that you see as far as my vlogs, like that's actually like the life that I'm living. I'm not going out of my way to create content just to trend or to get popularity or to get views. And that's possibly why my channel growth has been as slow as it has been because I'm just being myself and I want people to find me and resonate with me because of who I genuinely am, not a persona that I'm trying to sell. So that's all I have to say about Kevin Samuels and what I've learned and what I've taken away. Every now and again, his videos still get recommended to me because like I said, I actually was a subscriber. I actually used to watch his videos. And you know, it's just interesting like watching the content that he created through the lens of how he died. Like I want my contents to still ring true well after I'm no longer here. I want to be the same person online as I am in real life and I think I've done a good job of, of doing that so that's all I have to say. I'm still using liquid eyeliner and I'm using this eyeliner by NYX. It is the Epic Wear eyeliner and it's honestly almost done. I kind of need to replace this. I am really struggling with this eyeliner. There's no product in here, so it's just been such a struggle to get my eyeliner right. Okay, so the next thing I do is mascara. For mascara, I have the Colossal Go Extreme by Maybelline. I purchased this ages ago. Last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is this like soft life trend. <laughs> what is soft life? That's what I want to know. 
I'm assuming that soft life is just the opposite of a hard life. And if that's the case, then soft life all 2020, baby. Like, I am not trying to live a hard life by any standards. And I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. Where's my eyebrow pencil? Oops, this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I think this is really popular. And with this, I'm literally just going to fill in the gaps in my eyebrows. And I like to start at the end and kind of graduate towards the front. So yeah, let me talk more about what my idea of a soft life looks like for me. So for me, that means just being able to make money doing what I love, which for me has always been content creation. Like I've, I've been creating content online literally for over 10 years at this point, if I include my blog. This is the year that I'm going to be able to make this dream a reality. Like I really want this to be something that is more than just an interest of mine. And I'm claiming it. Like I'm just being so intentional this year about doing my part and just trusting and believing that everything will manifest itself in the way it's supposed to. I'm praying about it, I'm manifesting, I'm visualizing, and I'm also putting in the work. Cause I think a lot of time with our generation, we just think manifestation means putting up a picture and doing absolutely nothing. Like, no, you really need to work. Soft life involves work. Like that's the part that no one wants to tell you, you know? So I'm creating more content than I ever have, not just on YouTube, also on Instagram. And it just means that I'm having to sacrifice some other things, you know? Like there's some times where I don't really get a weekend anymore because on the weekends I tend to film or edit. Like this week, because I know I'm going away on a holiday and I've pledged to myself to upload twice a week on YouTube, I'm having to pre-film all the videos that are gonna go live while I'm away. And because of that, I've been waking up at like five o'clock in the morning to record videos, you know? That's what I had to do today. And it's not just me. Like one thing I realize is people that have achieved their dreams, they've put in a lot of work, even though it might not look like that. But it doesn't come easy for anybody. Maybe a few people out there who have like been born into wealth, maybe, but a lot of people, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that you don't see. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyebrows. And I'm using the concealer in the color Fawn. And this is, I think, the Flat Verge brush from Yanga Beauty. Dodo's recommended their brushes, and their brushes are really good. I didn't like any of their products that I tried but their brushes are really good. Get my little finger, well, a clean finger, my fingers look a bit dirty. And like, just dab it in. And with eyelashes, I like them to look as natural as possible. So I'm using the Eyelure 3 4 length in number 002 Light and Wispy. My Duo Glue, this is the, the green one. I don't know the difference between the green and the blue, to be very honest with you. While the eyelash glue is setting a little bit, I'm going to line my waterline. I don't even know where I got this from. I think I've had this for years. Sometimes in life, I feel like you need to put out that energy that you want to receive back to you. Like, it's just important to pay things forward. I've discovered a few channels recently that I absolutely love that I just wanted to highlight really quickly. There's this girl that I've been watching recently, literally obsessed with her channel. She does story times and her name is Renee's Beauty. The best story time. So if you like story times, watch her. I usually watch her videos when I'm doing my makeup and stuff because I can just listen. You don't actually have to watch. The other channel I want to recommend is this girl called Love Julie Kim. She does vlogs. And if you like my vlogs, you'll like her vlogs because they're very like calm and relaxing and like this is my everyday life type of vlogs. And then I have another Nigerian YouTuber that I want to recommend and her name is Ayek. Tea Time with Ayek, that's what her channel is called. Um, I actually know her from Nigeria. I don't remember how I met her now, but I know we used to go to the same church. She's been doing vlogs recently and I again like her vlogs. I really like like everyday like simple vlogs because I feel like 
they're just really relaxing to watch. Ooh, another channel that you might not know about is Nagad. Nagad is like a very earthy, spiritual channel. She just became a mother and she lives in America. I think she lives in a tiny home with her husband. And she talks a lot about spirituality. She has a very different vibe and I really like her. Like she's one of those people that I feel like is just living her authentic self on YouTube and attracting people that are like-minded. And like that links to what I was saying earlier. Just going over my eyelashes with some mascara to blend everything in. I just like to watch content from people that are very different to me sometimes because it just gives me another way to look at things. Now that I'm finally done with my face, I am going to go in and blend my nose contour and highlight. So I start off with the highlight because that is the lighter color. And at this point, it's pretty much dry. So blending it down. And that's what my nose contour looks like. And now I'm just going to go over and set that because that's the one part of my face that I did not set, if you remember. So I'm going in with my same Charlotte Tilbury powder and just setting that highlight down the middle. And I'm also going to set the side of my nose. And now I'm going to go in with my contour powder. This is by Revolution. I think this was all the rage a few years ago. And this is their dark matte bronzer. Swirl a little bit. And this is actually really dark. So at least on my skin tone. So what I need to do with this is like tap off the excess like a lot. <laughs> and literally with a really light hand, I'm just gonna go over. So this just accentuates where I had contoured before because the setting powder that I used over this was um, the same that I used over my whole face. So this just kind of makes the contour pop a little bit. This is the part that things might tend to get a little out of hand. So I just put a very little bit on the back of a brush and just highlight that contour here. And sometimes it looks a bit too pronounced. So I will go over everything with that brush again. All right, so now I'm going to do my lips. And the first thing I like to do is line my lips. And I'm going to be using the Berry M Lip Liner in Chocolate. I'm gonna line the top of my lip. And I don't overline my lips. My lips are full enough, so I literally just line the inner. And another thing that I've been doing that I never used to do before is I use a lipstick brush now with my lipstick. But this is the color I'm using today. Honestly, I'm not sure what color this is. If I had to guess, I would say it's either Velvet Teddy or Hug Me. It's so old, it's rubbed off, so I can't tell you for sure. And at this stage, if you like matte lips, you can just leave it. Or if you want a little bit of color, I have this Hot Chocolate by Fenty Beauty, and I'm gonna go over my lip liner with this. And then I'm gonna go over the center of my lips with this, which is a Stay Satin Liquid Color in shoulder pads. Pinky color. And I have the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm also gonna take a finger and just wipe the inside of my lips. and that should hopefully prevent me from getting lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> So this is the final look. Make sure you let me know what your thoughts are down below. Also let me know if you have any comments on what I've discussed in this video. Let me know if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, I would love to hear your opinions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any other requests for videos, please also let me know down below. I am going to head out now, but before I do, if you haven't already given this video a thumbs up, please make sure you do right now. It really helps my channel. And if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, guys, you know you like me, so just subscribe. <laughs>
I will see you guys in my next one very soon. Stay blessed, stay safe, and take care. Bye, guys.